And now as the world grapples with the scourge of the pandemic of COVID-19, some people are faced with the reality of hunger and lack in the midst of this lockdown. Well, there was respite for some members of a, a slum community as the Black Diamond Support Foundation reached out to them. Joining me in the studio is Adefunke Adewumi, who is the founder of the Black Diamond uh, Found Support Foundation foundation good to have you here you could have to, and good to have you here we too. saw the noble work that you did two days ago what inspired yesterday this? yesterday yes. oh yesterday so uh, this is really very fresh what inspired this action uh, when we the lockdown began we have actually been working with the people in the slum for a for a while for the past eight years mm. so we really understood the effects of this lockdown because these are the people that on a normal day even before the lockdown they are living in penury so clearly now there is a there's a lockdown there's going to be very little or nothing for them to fall back on mm. so we just said that okay instead of us um, the focus, because we realize that the uh, palliatives are not really getting into the slum because they mm -hmm. are into the eat at mm -hmm. that we should try and do what we can. Mm -hmm. So we just had some food stuffs, packet them, and we're dropping house to house so that we'll be able to work on the social distancing and no contact. Mm -hmm. So what we just do is to package the food right. and to drop in the front and of their houses. Is this cooked food or raw food? No, raw food, food mm. raw food. And it is a food that could last them for a week. Mm. So at least a family of four can have a food item that can last them for a week. The rice, the beans, the semu, the indomie, the gari, so that they could be able to eat for a week. Yes, we saw in one of those videos, you know, where you were saying to the people, this is not a government, or this is, a, you know, black diamond and mm. all of that. You were in that community. What yeah. did you see? How are the people? Okay, when we got to the community, most of the community people thought, oh, the state government food has gotten to them because they'd be eager to see the state government. They are hungry. They were hungry. And we could see anger in their faces. So most of them thought I was coming with my team mm -hmm. as maybe um, from uh, the Lagos state government or something. So they were really insulting, you know, like, oh, you people just brought the small, you people have embezzled the food. So I'm like, no, this is not Lagos state, this is not state. We just thought that you people need food. Mm -hmm. And we saw the children already going hungry. Now, the problem is this. What will happen after COVID-19? Are we going to start having minority children? Are, people, are we going to start having children dying of hunger? Are we going to start having people now having uh, diseases mm -hmm. that could have actually be prevented if they had enough food. Mm -hmm. So those were the things that prompted us to do the little we can. Mm -hmm. And it was really, really appreciated. Right. Because one of the women said, I have not eaten today. Mm -hmm. This is the meal I'm going to cook for my children. And that brought tears into my eyes. Like, oh, wow, we really did a good thing. I really went at the right time. Mm -hmm. Had you not gone there, maybe that family may just not have anything, anything to eat. Anything to eat, yes. Because the woman said, I think I, it was one of the live videos that oh no I would I may not miss this food I have to collect it because me and my children have not eaten today mm. and the neighbors actually bought stress that point that they have not eaten mm. and instantly she was already looking for a pot trying to see I was even almost said oh how are you get to get pepper and all that we didn't take that because it is perishable right. but even if it's, it's going to put the gary into water for the children to eat mm. at least they have something to eat mm. so it is that and they're telling us that most of the palliatives do not get to them mm -hmm. and I just wonder because those are the real people that really need it mm -hmm. not the people in the society not the middle class people the real people mm -hmm. the slum children the slum families that they eat less than one dollar a day and that brings me to my last question for okay. you which is how did you identify this slum community these areas where you distributed this oh food like item? i said blood diamond support foundation i've been working with edg for the past eight years you know we've been uh plus tv africa covered our project five thousand, where we hosted five thousand children two years ago we did last year. so we know this community mm -hmm. we have been going there for empowerment we have been going there for sensitization on um, sex uh, sexual abuse rape mm -hmm. so so we know how hungry they are right. and most of those uh, communities are committed that we have empowered the parents mm. the mothers may be into baking into sewing or something but now they cannot even use that to work because of the lockdown because of the lockdown so mm. we really know that they really need this food mm. and we're not wrong where we got there thank you so very much Adifunke, and your thank team for all thank that you, you do for society thank you.